Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Monday, August 9th, 2021. Alright, let's get started. Alright, let's start with one across. Places where surgeries are performed for short. I guess that would be ORs for operating rooms. It's asking for places plural, that's why it has to be ORs plural. Alright, let's see if we can build off of this on the downs here. Pick me, pick me. These quotes mean that we need to come up with an equivalent phrase for pick me, pick me. Um, hmm, what could that be? I would want that to be like, ooh, ooh, or something, but that does not fit. Hmm, I'm not sure what this is gonna be. Let's take a look at the next across here. Sneaky laugh. I guess that could just be a heh. So maybe this is just OO. That's nice because it's a repeating syllable and there's a repeating phrase in the clue. That's another little clue that they're giving you there. Okay, let's take a look at these long downs here. Wake up calls played on bugles. Oh, I think I know what this is. The wake up song that they play in the army, I think is called revelry. So, they're asking for wake-up calls plural again, so it'll have to be revelries plural. There we go, nice. Okay, Twinkies have a long one. <laughs> they have a notoriously long shelf life, right? Okay. Uh, let's take a look at this long across here. This may be our first theme answer, possibly. Gets passed as an obstacle. That should just be overcomes, right? Hmm, I'm not getting very strong theme vibes from this. And we did have two really long down answers here. I mean, those are candidates for theme answers also. We'll have to see what the rest of the puzzle has in store and see if we can uncover what the theme is. Spiral shapes. Um, that could be helixes, right? That's the shape of DNA. Those are in helix shapes. Helixes, again, another plural to match the clue. Uh, CX, that's unusual. Classic wafer brand. Oh, I must be spelling the plural of helix wrong. I think it must be helices with a C instead of an X. Yeah, I guess I didn't know how to pluralize helix because I think this needs to be Neko, right? Neko wafers? Um, I really did not like getting Neko wafers in my Halloween candy. I don't know about you all. I think every once in a while there's the odd person that I meet that enjoyed Neko wafers, but in my experience, Neko wafers are almost universally disliked. Um, all right, not in any way in dialect. Maybe it's no how, no way, no how. Let's see if we can confirm that. Nebraska native. This could be Oto. That's a Native American tribe. Um, that seems pretty likely. Carries a tune in a way. It could be hums. Poem of praise. That could be an ode. Something Keats wrote a lot of, as we learned yesterday. Hilton competitor. Um, a Hilton is a hotel, right? So this should be another hotel chain. I think there's a Westin, right? That's another chain. So practice piano piece is an etude. Yes, that's correct. Excellent. Can we come back over here? In that case, oh no. We must have gotten revelries wrong. Hmm, I guess I was wrong about that. Cause this should be if so, right? Um, maybe it's reveries? Is that right? Maybe that's what it is. Let's just see. Vogue competitor. No, that should be L, right? Uh, hmm. Yeah, I guess I must have just been spelling it wrong. I guess it still is revelries, but I had some letters transposed. Okay. Blank Lily and Company. Uh, all right. 
that's Eli Lilly and company, right? So I still had something wrong here. Um, oh man, Revel. It still has to be plural though. What's this here? Omitted should be left out. Is this eel? Is that right? Sinuous swimmer. Yeah, that should be an eel. Okay, so I definitely was confused about what this should be. Reviles? Reveils? Interesting. I always thought it was revelry. Huh. Reveils. Okay. Let's just double check and make sure this is an S. Worrisome directive from a boss. That's definitely see me. You don't want to get that from a teacher or a boss. Blue green shade. That should be teal. Warrior. Hmm. What's another word for a warrior? It's pretty long too. Huh. Raging blaze. I really want that to be Inferno. Hmm. Let's put that in. I wonder if left out is wrong. Maybe it's left off. Oh yeah, that would work too. Okay. One tweeting about football. This is a wordplay clue as indicated by this question mark here. So you have to kind of ignore the obvious reading of the clue and look for a pun. So maybe it's in the word tweeting. There are refs on a football field and they have whistles, right? So maybe they could be tweeting about football. This is not about Twitter. All right, website for techies. I think that would be CNET. Um, warrior, hmm. I'm still not sure what this is gonna be. Child's play. Is this something that's really easy? Hmm. Period in human history after bronze was supplanted in tool making. That has to be the Iron Age, right? Spicy could just be hot. Where pirates roam. I think they usually roam on the high seas, right? Boy, I am not getting any indication of a theme here. Um, overcomes high seas left off. Oh, I'm not even sure which ones of these would be theme answers here. Hmm. Liberté blank fraternité. Hades motto. It's probably egalité, right? I think this is French. This is probably equality, I would imagine. Private eye, quaintly. This is a very crosswordy answer. That would be tech, short for detective. All right, we get another long down here. Visual jokes in openings of The Simpsons, a tradition since the first episode. I believe those are called couch gags. Yeah, that's the part of the opening they change every time to do something new and funny. Composition of many reefs. It's got to be coral. The Phantom of the Blank. That's probably the Phantom of the Opera. Say. Another word for saying something could be uttering, right? Could this be utter? Let's just make sure we got this right. Make a choice could be opt, yeah. Not again could be retie. <laughs> Not again, it's kind of a funny audible pun. Venue with tiered seating. That could be an arena. Birds that do things just for the fun of it. And we get a wordplay clue again. Um, so this clue is not going to be about birds that actually do things just for fun. Um, maybe that would be like crows or something. This is going to be larks. Because the word lark, in addition to meaning a specific type of bird, can also mean to do something just for the fun of it. So that would be kind of a punny name for a bird that would do something just for the fun of it. Yeah, another good wordplay clue there. Zaps in a way could be lases, maybe? Like you zap something with a laser? Let's just make sure we get this down correct. 
informal get together. Ooh, this is a very tricky clue here. Um, because this clue could almost mean they want an answer that is a word for an informal get together. But what they're actually asking about kind of in a tricky way is they want an informal word for a get together. And that could be sesh instead of session, right? Yeah, this is a pretty tricky clue for a Monday. I'm glad they included this. That's a good one for us to highlight. All right. Ooh, it looks like we get a cross clue here. Opposite of 35 across. And this is also a wordplay clue. So they're asking opposite of left off as a wordplay clue. Um, okay, so it's not going to be about the opposite of the original meaning of this phrase left off. The opposite of that would be included, right? The pun of this wordplay clue is going to be what is the literal opposite of the two words left and off? And that would be right and on, right? Nice. Okay, we've got a funny little punny opposite happening here. All right, that's the closest thing to a theme we've gotten so far. I'm hoping that um, maybe we'll get either more opposites or maybe like a revealer at some point. Divisions of a subdivision. Um, maybe that's, I think that should be lots, right? Because that's where you'd be building houses in a subdivision. Okay. The New Yorker cartoonist Chast. Oh man. Um, I think I've seen this name. I think it might be Roz, I want to say. I can't remember which cartoonist that is, um, but I think she's one of the more recognizable ones. I've seen that name on a cartoon before, I believe. Hmm, I'm still not sure what this child's play is going to be. Blank etat uni? I think this is the French word for the United States of America. I'm imagining it's probably just le for the. Uh, boy, I'm still having so much trouble here. I guess it should be a breeze, right? Because child's play is something that's easy. Yeah, okay, that makes a lot of sense. I wasn't thinking something kind of figurative like that. I was thinking more literal. Okay. Warrior. C-O-M-B? Comb? This makes no sense to me. Hmm. I guess maybe it's combatant. Oh, man. Just having comb in there made that really hard to see. That's funny. Okay. Opposite of 25 across. Oh, okay. So it looks like maybe it's just opposite day. So maybe we'll have the opposite of overcomes also. That would make sense. This looks like a ripe candidate for having a punny opposite. Um, so I guess now that we know how these themed opposites are working, they'll probably be a lot easier. So the opposite of high seas should be low lands, right? Oh, wow. These are great too because they're actually real phrases on their own and they're the same number of letters this is a very impressive construction left off is a real phrase right on is a real phrase it's kind of like a hippie affirmation right overcomes is a real phrase when you overcome adversity lowlands it's like the scottish lowlands right so what's our last opposite going to be let's see if we can come up with it it should be under goes right like you would undergo surgery let's see if that's right undergoes nice that is a really really clever theme i like that a lot all right let's see if we can fill in the rest of the grid here oh this is super tricky we got to be careful here it almost looks like doggy catcher right but it's not it's doggy catcher and a doggy is a young calf it's something that a cowboy would be herding along. If you ever have heard of the phrase, get along little doggies, that's what they're talking about. They're talking about cattle. So what could this be? A doggie catcher? I guess it could be a lasso, right? It's what a cowboy would use. Okay. Atlantic or Pacific could be an ocean. Wishing sites? That should be wells. Yeah. Wells for sensitive boys. All right. 
2014 Ava DuVernay drama. That's definitely Selma. That was about Martin Luther King Jr., right? All right, place to go for the highlights. And this is more wordplay. This has been a really nice amount of wordplay for a Monday puzzle. I guess this is not going to be about like ESPN or anything about sports highlights, right? This is going to be about literal highlights in your hair. And you would go to a salon for those. Beginning could be the onset of something. All right, what is this Mo here? Leader of the Three Stooges. Yes, that is Mo. Mo, Larry, Curly, Shemp. Yeah. Okay. Male cat could be a Tom, like a Tom cat, right? Hillary, who climbed Mount Everest with Tenzing Norgay. I think that's Edmund Hillary, right? Yeah, those are the first two people to climb Mount Everest. Okay, wham or bam? I guess those are just noises. <laughs> Sometimes with crossword clues, you just have to try and think of the most generic or general equivalent you can. All right, gown? Could that be a dress? A bridal gown is definitely a type of dress. Oslo's country abbreviated. Oslo is the capital of Norway, so that looks good. Actress Falco is Edie Falco. She was on The Sopranos. Hyundai Compact. Uh, I think they have one called the Elantra, if I'm not mistaken. Let's just double check this here. Not so much is less, yeah. Induces to pull a prank, maybe. I guess that could be dares, yeah. If you're playing truth or dare or something. Okay, Frisbee EG could be a disc, although I'm not sure if it's gonna be with a C or a K at the end. Let's leave that blank for now. Radar sound could be a ping. It rhymes with fire appropriately, because that could be a pyre, right? That is a giant burning pile of wood. Okay. What is this long down gonna be? Place to sell homemade crafts online. I guess that would be an Etsy store. Yeah, your own personal Etsy store. Enchilada topping, maybe. Um, hmm, what could that be? Don't enchiladas usually have a lot of cheese on them? Blank bird, many time WNBA all-star. Hmm, I don't really know basketball very well. Jill Biden blank Jacobs. Okay, this is tricky. She doesn't have two middle names. Um, this is a way to indicate someone's maiden name. You can put the word ne in front of it, which is a French word, and it just means literally born. So you're really saying Jill Biden, who was born Jacobs. So you're saying she was Jill Jacobs, but then she married Joe Biden, and now she's Jill Biden. Yeah, this word shows up on the crosswords all the time because it has really good common letters. So you'll see that quite often. All right, that doesn't really help here yet. Um, we wanted this to be a C, right? Maybe, or a K? I'm not really sure which is more likely here. Pig follower in the Chinese Zodiac. I think that was the rat, right? Because I believe 2019 was the pig. Um, and then we had the rat the year after that, right? That was 2020. I think that's right. Moody genre of music or fashion. That could be emo. And then what is this? As to regarding. Yeah, that's an equivalent. Oh, okay. So this is sour cream. Okay, that makes sense. And then that gives us the C we wanted here. And then I guess this is Sue Bird for a many time WNBA all-star. All right. Let's see if that U does it for us. Oh no, we've got something wrong. All right, let's see if I can track it down. Oops, it looks like we had a typo here. It is not an arira, it's an arena, right? So, and then we didn't even look at this. Yeah, we paid the price for not checking our filled in acrosses. Tattoos informally should definitely be ink, not irk. <laughs> All right, let's see if that does it for us. Nice, okay. Well, our typo cost us an extra minute or two. Um, 
but this is still not too bad. I think this is pretty slow for a Monday time for us, but um, I don't know. I was just sort of enjoying coming up with those opposites and uh, you know, we were kind of going over some good crossword solving tips. So I think that's a good time. Boy, this theme, what a nice Monday theme. It's, it's really interesting how you don't really come across it until you hit the 50% mark on the puzzle if you're solving north to south like we usually do. And then you just hit a whole bunch of them and they're so much fun. Um, it was even more enjoyable, I think, because we had all the first pairs filled in. So we were kind of able to do them all kind of one right after the other. What a fun, punny little theme. And we had a lot of other wordplay clues too. Of course, I loved the bird wordplay clue. We also had kind of a bird adjacent football ref tweeting wordplay clue. And we also had this nice salon one. Yeah, that was great. And then there were some tricky ones too, like this dogie catcher. You have to be kind of on your toes to notice that little subtle difference in spelling there. And also this one was really nice and tricky this informal get together. This feels like something that would be on a later week puzzle, this kind of tricky wordplay. So I'm glad they kind of gave us one of those on a Monday puzzle to kind of stretch our lateral thinking muscles a little bit. All right, I hope you hated solving this opposite day puzzle with me. I'll be coming back at you tomorrow for the Tuesday puzzle. And I think that's gonna do it for now. All right, I'll see you next time. <laughs> <laughs>